But the reality for Palestinians is severe everywhere, not only in Gaza. This is Jerusalem. Heavy military presence. Palestinians, young Palestinians being stopped and held and searched all the time, every day, everywhere you go. And shot. In this picture, we went to visit this young boy. He's 13 years old in a hospital. This is an Israeli hospital, Hadassah. And until the day, the morning that we went to, we went to visit him in the evening, until that morning, he was handcuffed to the bed. Now, besides the absurd idea that you handcuff a 13-year-old to the bed, his leg was destroyed because Israeli soldiers shot his leg so many times and so severely that it had to be amputated. So he couldn't escape even if he wanted to because he couldn't walk. 13-year-old, and what do they call him? A child terrorist. And now they talk about this new thing called a child terrorist. And the Israeli TV went and did a special documentary about how do these child terrorists happen? This sick, absurd, these sick, absurd ideas they come up with. A 13-year-old terrorist. But this is the reality. And this is just one story, one case that we happen to see and that we happen to visit. If you've been to Hebron, if you've driven the, the, the road, Route 60 to Hebron, you know there's a very big intersection called the Etzion Junction. And the Etzion Junction is an intersection of some of the most rabid, radical, violent Israeli settlers and many Palestinian towns and cities that lead to Hebron. It's the southern part of the West Bank. Now there's always been, there have always been problems in that intersection and there's always been a very heavy military presence in that intersection. Now they have snipers. At about 10 or 12 points around this intersection, they have snipers. Just like this. Their eye on the sight, their finger on the trigger, sitting just like that all over the place, waiting to just squeeze the trigger. That's all they have to do. And they don't aim at someone who looks like me. This is the reality. And this is one of the reasons why so many Palestinians are being killed. Hundreds and hundreds only since last October. And injured. A major intersection with not only military presence, but snipers. And then in Hebron itself, you have a reality where settlers are breathing down the necks of Palestinians trying to get their homes. Every time they do get a home, they get military presence guarding the settlers. And of course, the prize that they hope to win one day is this beautiful old city of Hebron particularly from this particular angle, from Tel Ramida, it's a beautiful, beautiful old city. And this is the prize. This is what they're trying to win. House by house and killing one Palestinian at a time.